In this video, we have a trigonometric function, and we're going to find the amplitude, period, phase shift, vertical translation, and the range. So the general formula that we're going to use to do that is the following. So y equals c plus a times the sine of b, parentheses, x minus d. So when it looks like this, um, you can find various things. Uh, so for example, c here is the vertical translation, so vert translation. And the absolute value of a, that's called the amplitude, so I'll just put amp. And the period is equal to 2 pi over b. So the period here is 2 pi over b. And then the phase shift, that's a uh, little d. Okay, so let's go ahead and find all of these things uh, for this function. So maybe we'll start by rewriting our trig function uh, in a way that fits this form that's in the formula. So the c is 0, so that's not there. So we have negative 4, sine. And what we can do is we can pull out a 2. You see, because here there's a parentheses and an x minus d. So we want to create that parentheses. So I'll pull out the 2. Then we have parentheses x, and then we're going to have to have something here. Um, looks like pi over 2. And that should work because if you multiply 2 times pi over 2, the 2's cancel, right? And so you just get 2x uh, minus pi, which is what we have up here. All right, so now from this, we can write all of the answers down. Let's see. So I guess first the vertical translation, I'll just put vert trans. That's going to be 0, right, because um, c is 0. It's, it's not here. It's non-existent. Okay, so the vertical translation is 0. Or how about the amplitude? Well, that's the absolute value of negative 4. So the amplitude is just 4, right, because the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. All right, what else do we have? Um, let's see. The period. So the period is 2 pi over b. So here b is 2. So the period, I'll write it over here is simply 2 pi over 2. So the period is just pi. So the period in this problem is equal to pi. So the period is pi. Good stuff. And what else? Oh, the phase shift, right? The phase shift, phase shift. That's our little d. And where is little d? It's right here. Here's our little d, pi over 2. So the phase shift is pi over 2. And the last thing we'll find is the range. This is perhaps the hardest of all. So to find the range, um, the way I do it is I start by thinking about just the range of the pure sine function. So if it's just sine, um, it just goes up and down between 1 and negative 1. So if it's sine, um, x is between 1 and negative 1, or rather the y value is between 1 and negative 1. Right, that's the range for sine. Here it's being multiplied by negative 4, though, so the amplitude is 4. So it's going to take it from negative 4 to 4. So the range in this case would be bracket negative 4, comma 4. So uh, this number here directly affects the range. So if there was a 2 here, it would be um, negative 2 to 2. If there was a 3 here, it would be negative 3 to 3. So I hope this video has been helpful. And remember, all you need to do is memorize this formula and then just uh, find everything. That's it.